Laser focus all year with every game that we've played. Um, our coach tells us take everyone seriously pretty much. It doesn't matter who is in front of you, they're in the way of getting what we wanted to get, which is <laughs> in my hands right now. Hey folks, Mr. Bowtie here. Keep banging home that subscribe button on your screen so that way you can stay up to date on all the great high school and local sports coverage not found anywhere else. And follow me on Twitter at Mr. Bowtie1982. It's fast, it's free, and you'll make my dogs think I'm a superstar. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. 2A Girls Basketball State Championship. Groover looking for their second title in three years, taking on Stamford. Bailey Maupin, the Texas Tech signee, leading the Hounds and trying to lead the Hounds to a perfect 33-0 record. They would become the 24th girls basketball team ever to do that, and they would join legendary teams in the panhandle, such as Canyon and Nazareth. Stamford won a softball title last year that not many people expected, and they upset Martins Mill in the state semifinals. Callie Conyers of Groover trying to win her third state championship. She also won a state championship in academics as well. Her brother Jalen, the legend in the panhandle, won a title at Stanette West Texas and was a state runner-up in the Groover basketball program a couple of years ago. How the matchup play out and would the Hounds be able to finish off perfection? Let's head to the Alamo Dome and find out. Bailey Maupin, 16 points, 14 rebounds, once again unstoppable. Callie Conyers, 10 points, 7 rebounds. Groover pulled away 50-38 to win their second basketball state championship in three years and finished off 33-0. shut them down. We shut down the second chance opportunities that they kind of relied on and when we were on offense we were able to get second chance opportunities and we were able to punch the paint and share the ball and make open shots and I just kind of put them in a hole to begin with and they you know, kept them there. There wasn't a ton of pressure. Uh, we worked super hard on free throws, lots of free throws in practice so I think it was just calm down and shoot them. Um, I think we do a good job of making smart decisions and uh, just being sound. Yeah! It's 
pretty unreal. That's the part that's kind of hard to wrap around my mind. Um, going into this season, we were going to have a really tough schedule, and I had no idea we were going to go undefeated, but um, it's pretty great. It's really exciting. Our defense is if they find holes in it, they're just going to keep hitting those. I thought we did well going into the second half and fixing those little holes that they were hitting, but by that point, we were just down. Once they got that up by nine, they never, we never recovered from that. Our coach tells us take everyone seriously pretty much. It doesn't matter who is in front of you, they're in the way of getting what we wanted to get, which is <laughs> in my hands right now. My first time to come here was in eighth grade, and I got to watch him play. I got to learn a lot from him in those years. Um, looked up to him a lot. But um, I have bragging rights now, I think, <laughs> getting one more than him. But uh, I really do think he's going to be happy that we won just because in 2020 they made it here and they didn't get the opportunity to play for it. And him and I had a conversation last night about it, and he said go win it. Win twice is incredible. And the undefeated season is something I'll never forget. Now we can finally say that we're, we had a perfect season and we won a state championship, something a lot of people can't say. The Bulldogs finished 36-3. and Remember, they're defending softball state champions. The Hounds were joined later on by Cedar Park and 5A, who finished off a perfect season, marking just the third time in UIL girls basketball history that two teams finished unbeaten in the same season. Reporting from San Antonio, I am Mr. Bowtie.